Well, good morning, good morning, Facebook family and friends. Amen. What a blessed Friday morning it is. Amen. And always a good opportunity to give God thanks and praise. Amen. For he is always good and his mercies endure it forever. Amen. And this morning, glory be to God, I just want to read in both of our hearings and then for us to say a prayer. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And then we could just be able to move forward. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. And so it's coming from the book of Psalms, chapter 107. Amen. And to start at verse 23, and it says, They go up, they go down to the seas in ships that do business in great waters. These see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For he commanded and raised the storm, the stormy winds, which lifted up the waves thereof. They mount up to the heaven, they go down again to the depths. Huh, huh. Their soul is melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro, and staggered like a drunken man, and are at their wit's end. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he bringeth them out of their distresses. He maketh the storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are still. Then are they glad, because they be quiet, so he bringeth them unto the desired haven. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people, and praise him in the assembly of the elders. Amen. Glory be to God on this morning. Amen. Thank you all for tapping in thus far. Amen. Noella. Amen. Nicole Swain. Amen. That's being tagged in at this point. And Lillian Lloyd. Amen. Anime Pierre. Bless the Lord for you all tapping in thus far this morning. And this morning, glory be to God. I just want to encourage us. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. That God delivers from storm or there is deliverance from storm. Amen. Glory be to God. We know of earthly storms. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We call that the hurricane season. So we know of earthly storms. Amen. And then we also have storms within our lives. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And sometimes, just like how the earthly storms, they have seasons. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. There are seasons in our lives that is filled with storms or filled with trials. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And just like the natural storms when they come, they sometimes do disaster. Amen. Or cause disaster to come about but it also not only just disaster it also cleanses the earth amen nobody likes storms and and hurricanes and all these kind of things that create a whole lot of damage at times amen but they come to clear out and wash out some things that should not be there in the first instance and so here it is glory be to god hallelujah the bible is saying to you and i this morning amen men or people who work on boats amen or have a lot of dealings with the water amen they see the mighty hand of god amen glory be to god because in the midst of the trouble on sea amen in the midst of the wave going up and down and it says that the lord causes the waves the, the waves to go up and down amen and it says the sea staggers like a drunken man and we know that when a dr person is drunk glory be to god hallelujah when they intoxicated amen glory be to god they be stumbling all over the place trying to catch their balance and so here it is glory be to god hallelujah oftentimes amen in our natural lives, amen, it seems like we're like drunken people, amen, glory be to God, staggering in your walk with Christ, amen, glory be to God, because of the trouble, because of the things that you're going through, amen, because sometimes, glory be to God, we're only looking at it in the natural eye, amen, glory be to God, and not through the eyes of faith, amen, so we begin to stagger, glory be to God, as the wave of the sea staggers, amen, glory be to God, it's up and down, amen, glory be to God, sometimes the movement of the 
wave is fast and then it's a big rushing wind and then it come back down and it keep moving and sometimes our lives are like that with the troubles in which we go through amen glory be to god but this morning i just here to remind you and i amen glory be to god as the lord said that his redemptive power amen or glory be to god his deliverance is shown glory be to god through amen the working of these and people who be on the sea experience them but you and i may not be in a physical sea amen or a physical storm glory be to god but we experience in from time to time season or spurts of glory be to god though the, the rising and the falling amen of the storm within our lives amen glory be to god what am i talking about amen there are times that the children are behaving themselves so well and there's no issue amen and so therefore there's a calm within our environment amen everybody's doing what they ought to do amen the husband is doing well and the children is doing well and the job there's no issue on the job and the finances it ain't what we want it to be but it's okay and so glory be to god and there are other times it seems like the everything turned upside down amen it seems like the storms of life begin to toughen up amen the children begin to do the fool and the wife and the husband sometimes begin to do the fool and everything seems to be going topsy-turvy in our lives at time to time amen and the bible says sometimes the lord bring these seasons of storms or allow these seasons of storms rather to come into our lives why would a good god allow such to do amen glory be to god because storms somehow changes the environment in which you're in amen there are times that the lord wants to change our environment amen glory be to god hallelujah an environment glory be to god usually could be changed hallelujah for a better purpose when it is turned topsy-turvy amen so because it moves from one level to another level amen and so before it could get great it gets so worse amen glory be to god and so here it is the lord sometimes allow these storms to come into our lives to shake up some things out of our lives that we can let loose of some things some strong holes that has us hold down amen glory be to god and so that we can be able to mount up and so sometimes the lord allows these storms to come into our lives for purposes but this morning i'm here to tell you listen here don't get stuck in the midst of the storm amen don't get stuck in looking at what you're going through don't get stuck glory be to god and saying why me don't get stuck at that point amen but i want you to get stuck at this point here where it says amen glory be to god that the lord make it the storm to calm after you would have gone through, amen, it says the waves are like a drunken man, amen, begin to staggering. And after, after that, the Lord brings a calm into our lives, amen. He brings us to a place, amen, where we can now rightfully think properly. And so here it is, he allows things to settle down. And it's settled it down so that we can see his mighty working hands in our lives. And it says, then they are glad because they are quiet. Amen. We're glad when our lives is not filled with turmoil. We're glad when our lives, when the storms of life, amen, the, the ability not to be able to pay bills on time. We are glad when those things begin to cease. We are glad when we see the miracle hand of God bringing substance into our lives so that we can pay the bills. And so therefore that quiet, there's a quietness, there's a stillness. There's a confidence we rise up to the occasion because we're not depressed and oppressed and suppressed by all of life's challenges at that moment. And so here is in the midst of the storms, the Lord provides a calm or he brings about a calm. And it says here, it says, oh, that man would praise him. Amen. Glory be to God. When the Lord allows a calm period or calm season to come into your life. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He says, oh, that man would praise him. Amen. This is our opportunity to praise God even the more. Amen. It says, listen here. Oh, that man would praise him. Amen. For his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Amen. Glory be to God. The Lord brings about a quietness in our spirit. Amen. He brings a quietness in our home. He brings a quietness on our jobs. Amen. Glory be to God. He allowed the turbulence of life to cease. It stops for a season. Nobody is in always in, in, in rough season. And so therefore, you may say, but it feels like I've been in rough season all of my life. Could I tell you, you did not discern the season in which you're in. Sometimes we get stuck into a season when the season has shifted. 
because the truth be told, summer is not all round. Even though we may have some sun in the winter and we say the winter is not fully winter, glory be to God, the season has shifted because it's not full bloom summer. And so here it is. And what am I saying? Sometimes in our life, we don't get rid of all of the problems one time. Amen. Some may cease, glory be to God, and you may still have some, but it's not adding the full pressure to it because you can still have your mobility to move forward. And so what I'm saying is glory be to God. Hallelujah. We got to recognize the season in which we're in. Amen. And once we recognize the season in which we're in, glory be to God. Hallelujah. And if you see you're in a calm season, amen, we will call that the season of summer. Amen. The season where everything, glory be to God, in the summertime is when you take the vacation. Glory be to In the summertime is when you take the break away from the children. Glory be to God. In the summer times, you take so many breaks. There's so many things to do in the summer. Oh, Amen. Oh. Glory be to God. And so the summertime is a break season. Amen. Glory be to God for many people. Amen. And so glory be to God. You got to recognize the season in which you're in. Amen. If I wanted mango, now is not mango season. And so glory be to God. So how can you get a full bloom mango? But recognizing the season in which you're in, glory be to God, helps you to know and to recognize the mighty oh, hand oh. of God. The mighty hand of God. And so the season helps us to recognize where we're at. So nobody be in a storm 365 days of the year, seven days a week, 24-7. Nobody be in a storm all that time. The Lord brings a refreshing in the midst of the storm. And that is what the quietness is all about. When he causes the waves to cease, when he causes the bigger waves, which is the bigger problems in our lives, glory be to God, to die down. Amen. Glory be to God. When he causes our staggering like the word of the Lord, say a drunken, it's like a drunken sea or a drunken man. Amen. When the sea begins to stagger, when our problems in our lives, glory be to God, begin to stagger. What am I saying? Sometimes when it staggers, it's in and out. Glory be to God. Yes, we have problems in our lives that are in and out. And so we got to know the season. And so when the Lord brings about a calm, recognize when the calm comes so that it says, oh, that men would praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we ought to praise the Lord when he brings us a refresh. And that's our time to be refreshed. So we cannot still be on a hype. It's a time to be refreshed. It's a time to be renewed. It's a time to be refueled. It's a time to be rejuvenated. It's a time, glory be to God, hallelujah, to just begin to be thankful, even more thankful unto him because the season has shifted. And it says, let them, let them exalt also in the congregation of the people. Amen. When we go into fellowship in the houses of the Lord, everybody who goes into their separate houses, amen, the church houses, amen. When we get together with other saints, amen, it's a time of celebratory, amen. We begin to, glory be God, celebrate, amen, glory be to God, what the Lord is doing in the church realm and in the lives of us, his people. And it says, praise him, in the assembly of the elders. Amen. Praise him in the midst of those. Amen. Glory be to God who has taught us the way. Praise him because we see glory be to God. Hallelujah. The words that were spoken to us. Amen. During the seasons of roughness, during the season of calmness is now coming to pass. So we ought to, what did it say? We ought to thank God for the testimonies of the calm and also to allow the elders in the, in the churches, amen, to be able to know of it, glory be to God, so that we can all celebrate God together. And so this morning, glory be to God, I'm only here to pop in just to tell you this morning, amen, that God delivers us in our storm situation. So know this morning that you have seasons to your life. You will never be in a storm 24-7. You will never be in a calm 24-7. Just as we have right here in our nation and across, across the seas, amen, different seasons, amen. We have different seasons in our lives. If you don't know what season that you're in, ask the Lord to help you. Ask him to help you to discern where you're at. It's important to know where you're at so you can know where you're going. I need to know what season, you know, they say we have different seasons. We have winter and we have summer and we have spring and we have fall. We have, all, we have these seasons in our, in our natural reign. 
So there's seasons in our lives. So this morning, let us just pray for a few minutes. And I'm going to bid you all farewell. I'm going to get out of here. Amen. Glory be to God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ this morning, God, we just say thank you. God, we praise your name because there's no other God in whom we can depend. You are the most high God. You are the sovereign king. And so, Father, we thank you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Because you are, O oh God, our deliverer, O oh God, in the midst of our seasons, O oh God. You are the one, O oh God, that makes, O oh God, hallelujah, the waves, the rough waves in our lives to come to a calm one lord god glory be to god that gives us glory be to god our peace in the midst of it oh god you are the one that brings us out of life storms and we say thank you this morning we bless the wonder of your name because you are the most high god you are sovereign you are maker and ruler over everything and so god we bless your name this morning we praise the name of jesus christ oh god father for you are the great god and so father we say thank you this morning we thank you oh god that we don't have storms in our lives 365 days of the year father we thank you that we neither do we see the storms 24 7 neither do we see it seven days a week so father we thank you for the shifting of seasons in our lives we thank you oh god hallelujah that when we see a season oh god hallelujah of plenty in our lives god that you will teach us how to save for the winter season when it begin to get dry and so father we bless your name this morning god because we honor your presence we honor the fact God, that you consider it us, oh God, in every season, oh God. We thank you, oh God, hallelujah, that even when we begin to stagger sometimes in your word, oh God, when we begin to stagger in our faith, Lord God, you are the great God that brings a calm, oh God, to anchor us back again. And so, God, we say thank you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless your name this morning, God, because you desire, oh God, that our full trust would be in you. And so, God, when you bring a calm into our lives, Father, we say, oh, give thanks unto to you for you are good and your mercies endure it forever oh god we say thank you lord glory be to god because truly we have seen the hand of you in our lives father god we begin to testify as the psalmist has testified oh god and we say god had it not been for you in our lives we would have fainted along life's journey huh we would have given up oh god we would have lost hope in you oh god but father you gave us the blessed hope of assurance of christ in our lives oh god you have been a constant help unto us oh god you've been our daily bread god you've been a present help unto us the children of men oh god father even when we mess up so badly lord god when we ourselves don't know how to and where to go father god you still say we can look unto the hills from whence cometh our help lord god knowing that all of our help cometh from you lord god you have proven to be yourself oh god in accordance to psalms chapter 27 oh god you are our light and our salvation, oh God. Oh, we bless your name this morning, God. Oh, for the saving grace of Jesus Christ, oh God. The one who has kept us, oh God. The one who has sustained us, Lord God. Father, we say thank you this morning, God. We bless you for the calm in our lives, oh God. We thank you for every season, oh God. Because every season has a purpose, oh God. So, Father, whatever season your people are in this morning, God, we pray that your sweet Holy Spirit, oh God, the discerner, oh God, of the thoughts and the intent of man, oh God. We pray, Father God, that you would help us, Lord Jesus, to know the season in which we're in, oh God. Father God, that we could be able, oh God, to declare your word effectively, oh God, for the effective season at hand, oh God. And so, God, we bless your name this morning, God. But Father, we need to know, Lord God, the times in which you in, oh God. And so, God, we ask this morning, oh God, God, that you would help our unbelief, oh God. Oh, train us in the ways of you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, help us, Lord God, to lean not to our own understanding, God. God, but in every aspect of our lives, God, in every shifting, oh God, in every movement, oh God, help us to acknowledge you, Lord God, that we would know the season in which we're in, oh God, for truly you are the GPS, oh God, you are the navigation system, Holy Spirit, in our lives, Lord, you are able to navigate us through the storm, Lord, you are able to navigate us, oh God, through the various seasons of our lives, God, oh glory be to God, that we would be like unto the 
months, oh God, that yeah, the Lord God, glory be to God, the substance for the winter time, God, for the hard time, oh God, for the difficult time, oh God, we would yeah, the Lord God, that which we need from you, Lord God, we would lay hold, Lord God, on the wisdom of you, God, for the wisdom of you, Lord God, it is better, Lord God, than the wisdom of man, oh God, so Father, this morning, Lord God Almighty, God, help us to know the season in which we're in, oh God, but Father, once we know, Lord God, we are able, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus, to ride on every season. Father, we thank you this morning, God, because it's because of you. God, it's because of your redemptive power, Lord Jesus. It's because, Lord Jesus, in you we live and move and have our very being. It's because, Father God, hallelujah, it's because you so love us. More than we can ever think, act, or even imagine you love us more than anything we can ever dream of. And we say thank you this morning, Jesus. We thank you, God, so help us to celebrate in the seasons, God. You said it's your will, Lord God, that we would give thanks in all things. It is the will of you concerning us. So, Father, we thank you, God. We thank you for the season in which we're in. And, God, we don't want to come out of the season, oh God, without reaping that which we have to reap. In the season, oh God, of chaos. In the season of up and down. In the seasons of the storms of life, God, help us to learn a lesson, oh God. Oh God, to put our confidence in you, God. Father God, as the scripture declares, oh God, some put their trust, oh God, and their confidence in chariots of men. Some put their confidence, oh God, glory be to God, in so many other things. But help us to put our confidence in you, Lord God Almighty. Knowing, God, that you have already been tried. You are the God, hallelujah, that... Oh, God, that exists before everything else existed. For there's no beginning with you because you begin the beginning. And so, Daddy, we say thank you this morning. In the seasons of the calm, help us to still be grateful. Help us to still be appreciative. In the season, oh, God, where there's not, glory be to God, it's not abundance. But, Father, if we're just making it, we help us to be grateful. Help us to see you in every season of our lives and help us to grow thereby. Lord, you are the navigator for our lives. We surrender them to you this morning. We surrender our hearts afresh this morning. Anew this morning, Lord. Navigate us through this day. Father God, give us our daily bread for today. We won't concentrate, Lord, on tomorrow. For tomorrow has its own, Lord God, season, its own, Lord God, navigation to go through. But Father, as you've given us this day on today, Lord, we say, be with us, your people. Go before us, Lord Jesus, and lead us as you've led the children of Israel. Lead us by day and lead us during the night time. Help our conversation as in accordance to Ephesians chapter 4 and 29 to be, O God, of you, Lord Jesus. Help us, O God, glory be to God, to have the right attitude in every season. Help us to know, Lord God, that you, Lord God, everything, O God, is subject to your control. And if we subject ourselves to your control, Lord God Almighty, you will navigate us through every season of our lives and so we say thank you god for the cinnamon this morning this lord god let it be their season of repentance you say now is the day of salvation now is the accepted time father help them to accept you now help them lord god not to consider tomorrow help them not to consider later on but right now jesus As you prick their spirit, man, oh God. As you prick their very conscience with the love of your word. Help them to yield themselves to you, oh God, servants to obey. Father, help them to make a firm decision right now. Father, in the midst of their challenges, in the midst of their storm. Help them, oh God, to see that you are able to calm the storms of their lives. In the midst of their staggerness, oh God. Where They have you on their mouths, O God, but their hearts are far from you. Father, help them this morning, O God, 
to make a firm decision, O oh God, in knowing you, Lord Jesus, accepting you as Lord and Savior of their lives and living accordingly, O oh God. For those that are in a backslidden condition this morning, Father, I pray, O oh God, that this be a turnabout season for them even now. Father God, this will be a season, O oh God, that they would say, Lord, I will choose whom I will serve. And I will choose to serve the true and the living God. I won't render myself to an idol any longer. I won't render myself to materialistic things any longer. I won't put my confidence in anybody else other than the true and the living God. Help them to return unto you with their whole hearts. Father, you said if they return unto you with their whole hearts, God, you will return unto them. Help them to return this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I say thank you. God and we the believers, we say thank you this morning for the seasons of our lives. Strengthen us, Lord, for you are our strength. Make the crooked parts in our lives straight as in accordance to Isaiah 45. Mount us up with wings of eagle, O oh God. We bless your name for it this morning. We thank you, O God, that we the just shall live by faith as in accordance to Hebrews chapter 10 and 38. We glorify your name this morning, that we will stand on your word, having done all to stand. We will be fully clad, O God, hallelujah, with the whole armor of you. Father God, showcasing the goodness of you, Lord Jesus, professing and confessing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of our lives. Declaring and decreeing your good will concerning us, Lord. Giving appreciation for everything, O oh God, that you've brought us to and through. We bless your wonderful name this morning. We declare, O oh God, hallelujah, there's nobody like you. There's no spirit being, there's no force, there's no energy in comparison to you. You are the most high God. You are sovereign in all of your ways. It is by you that all things are possible, and without you nothing is possible at all. So, Father, we give glory, honor, and praise unto you. We, Lord God, exalt you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. We hallow your name this morning. We say, blessed be you, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, this morning. The maker of mankind, the creator of life and world. We say thank you, the God of the universe. We bless your name, O oh God, for you have been our present help in the time of trouble. We thank you, God, for declaring Psalms chapter 1 over our lives. Father God, that we are the blessed of you, Lord God. We're like a jumbe tree, God, planted by the rivers of water. You water us with your word, O oh God, and make us healthy in our spirit. We thank you this morning, God, that we found strength, O oh God. In the midst of life trials. We thank you that we are anchored in your word. We thank you, O oh God, knowing that your everything else will pass away, but your word remaineth the same. We thank you that you are a steady God. You are fervent, O oh God. You're unchangeable, Lord God. And we thank you for that, God. For you have been constant in our lives. We say, blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Glory be unto his name this morning. Hallelujah to Jesus. Amen. He is the most high God and I just say thank him this morning. Amen. I bless his name this morning. Glory be to God. Amen. So this morning, before I just bid everyone farewell, I just say, listen here. Bless the Lord for you tapping in this morning, Nicole Swain. Amen. Bless the Lord for you, Nicole, Noella Sands. Amen. Um, intercessor Lillian Lloyd, bless the Lord for you tapping in. Anime Pierre, bless the Lord for you tapping in this morning. Amen. Bishop Ross Davis, bless the Lord for you tapping in this morning. Amen. Candy Dyer, bless the Lord for you thanking, um, tapping in this morning. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord for Danielle Thompson. Amen. Levita Thurston. Bless the Lord for you tapping in. Nikhail Minnis, bless the Lord for you tapping in. And everyone that will tap in a little later on. Listen here. Keep on trusting God. God is trustable. He's reliable. Amen. And he has redemptive power to redeem us. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Bless the Lord for you, Janae. Amen. For tapping in my schoolmate. Amen. This morning. Amen. Remember, 
the Lord delivers us out of life storms. Even as he delivers us out of natural storms, he delivers us out of life storms. All we got to do is keep on trusting him. Allow him to be the GPS on today. Don't even matter what happened on yesterday. Glory be to God. Your season could have shifted overnight. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But allow the Lord to just navigate you through today. And how are you going to do that? How, how am I going to do that? We're going to allow the Holy Spirit to lead. Amen. Let's quiet our spirit man so that we can hear what he has to say to us. How he's going to navigate us through this day. We're only going to think about today. Because tomorrow ain't promised to you neither I. But whilst we're in this day, whilst we're in this moment, the Lord wants to order our steps. He says a good man's steps are ordered by him. We need him to order our steps so don't, we don't make so many um, mistakes along this life journey. He's willing and he's able to order us. So this morning, as you in whatever storm of your life, whatever season in your life, you still need the Lord to order your step. Whether you're like the ants who's gathering for the, in now for the winter season, for the hard days, you need the Lord to teach you how to do it. Glory be to God, how to store it up, how to store up your prayers, how to store up the word in your heart. How to store up, glory be to God, the relationships, amen, that you've rest before him. How to store up your finances. How to, glory be to God, store up prayers for your marriage. Store up prayers for your children, amen, for your job, amen. Glory be to God, hallelujah. He may have want to put you into a business. There's so many things, that the, so many different ways the Lord orders our lives. This morning, let us allow the Lord to order our lives on today. Whatever it is, let's just let him order it. Amen. And if you truly believe that, amen, and you agree with that, glory be to God, just ask the Lord to order it. It's out of your mouth. Amen. The Bible says, out of the abundance of a man's heart, the mouth speak it. So I can say today, Lord Jesus, order my steps in your word. Order my thoughts in your word. I want the right thoughts for today. I want the right thoughts for now. I want the right thinking right now. That I can possess what you have for me right now. So that I can live for today. And when tomorrow come, that's another day in my life. It could possibly be another season in my life. Glory be to God. Because when mango is coming in season, glory be to God, hallelujah, or mango is ending, another season is breaking for something else. Where is Kanap or Juju or Plum? Sometimes they meet and cross over. Sometimes it's time for us to cross over as believers. You may be in a hard season. Amen. And you saw the break of day. Glory be to God. Meaning that you saw that the Lord sent you a mighty hand of deliverance. You may be in transit, crossing from one season to the next season. How you allow the Lord to order your day? How you allow the Lord to order your step? determines how a season will be able to flourish for you. And so listen up, people of God. I got to run right now. I thank you all for tapping in this morning. Like I always say, you don't have to. May the Lord bless you for tapping in. Amen. Apostle Ruby Carswell, may the Lord bless you for tapping in this morning. Amen. As we allow the Lord to keep on ordering our day. Just let him order it today. Think about nothing else. Just on today. And if you're a sinner man, you know, I can't go without giving you an opportunity to say, Lord Jesus, I recognize that I'm a sinner. Come into my heart and save me. Amen. And if you would have done just that simple little prayer, amen, he would have done that. If you've done that in all sincerity, you may say, I've been doing that for so long and I've not feel any difference. I've not, I, I feel no difference. I ain't this. Listen here. It's not about feelings. It's listen here. It's a faith walk. If you've asked in all sincerity, trust me, the Holy Spirit came in. You just did not recognize your shift. It's a fate. We receive him into our hearts by fate. So if you're looking for a feeling, you're not going to get a feeling. It's a knowing. You got to know that when you ask the Lord to come into your heart and save you from yourself, glory be to God. Amen. He has done just that. And all you have to do, Amen. To get a closer walk with him, a closer relationship, closer fellowship with him is begin to, amen, do as that simple song say, read your Bible, pray every day and you will grow, grow, grow. 
you will grow into the grace of God. He'll constantly speak to your spirit man because he wants to fellowship with you. That was God's ultimate purpose, to fellowship with us as his creation. He wants to fellowship. So allow him during your season of refreshing right now to fellowship with you. Amen. Allow the words that you have read about him him and about his redemptive power to resonate in your spirit and to come alive within you it comes alive by the more we keep talking to him just telling him about his word it comes alive because he's a living word amen that lives on the inside of us and so if you're in a backslidden state listen i can't leave you there amen he says that i'm married to you and he wants you to come back to him he wants you to return to him amen and as you return to him glory be to god here's what he's saying he said listen here I will reinstate you. I will put you back in your rightful position as if you've never sinned, as if you've never moved away from me. And so that's what he says. He says he's married to the backsliders of heart. He said, if you return unto me with your whole heart, I will even so return unto you. Amen. And so this morning, the Lord wants you to return. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Remember, we say just do it for the season you're in. You're in this season now. Just do it. Don't worry about how what needs to be fixed, what got to be fixed. Let the Lord deal with that. Amen. That's too big for you. Amen. Just come and just do it. Amen. Hallelujah. And once you do that, amen, trust God to shift the season. Because once you would have done that, your season automatically shifted. Amen. Because now you're back into a new season and the Lord will order your steps continuously. And for us who are still on the wall, who are still glory be to God. Hallelujah. Just still serving the Lord. I say to us this morning, don't get weary in well-doing. Don't get weary. Don't faint in this journey. Amen. There's seasons in our lives, amen, and each season is there, amen, to refresh, to take out, to put in something in our lives. Let us enjoy the seasons of the Lord, amen. There's some hard seasons, trust me, they're necessary too. That's how we get to experience the, the mighty hand of God in the midst of difficulties, in the midst of hardness, amen, in the midst of dying situation, amen. So that's how we experience the mighty hand of God, and so we can be able to give God thanks for that season of our lives, Amen. And so he's a good God. Amen. And so we have to constantly, amen, allow the Lord to just, just walk us through the season. And so he's our navigating system on today. Amen. Show your hands if you're going to allow the Lord to navigate you in this day. Just, just put our hands up so you can say, Lord, just navigate me in this day today. Amen. We need his navigation. Amen. Glory be to God. We need him to order our steps today. We need him to navigate us through life journey on today. Navigate our decisions on today. Amen. Just show your hands and say, Lord, navigate me today. Order my steps today. Be with me today. Don't worry about tomorrow. When tomorrow comes, you say the same thing. Amen. And every day you say the same thing. And guess what? He's doing it every day. Amen. So listen here. Until next time, people of God, for those I have not um, said a good morning to, amen. Listen here. Morning, Angela Roll. May the Lord bless you for tapping in this morning. And Gabriel, may the Lord bless you for tapping in this morning. Listen here. Keep on trusting God. Yes, Angela. God is a restorer of the breach. He is a restorer of us who have lost some things. Amen. That's what seasons is all about. He's shifting us. Yes, Ruby. Amen. He is and he loves sinners. Amen. Glory be to God. And he wants us. He wants them to come in, as he've done with us. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He loves us so much. Amen. We ought to share this good gospel. For God's word is worthy to be praised. Yes. He is worthy to be praised. And we bless God for that. Amen. Candy, we bless God for that this morning. So listen, tell somebody, keep on trusting God, and you do the same. So until next time, everybody, so long. Bye-bye.